of beautiful people, lovers of good things, lovers of good win all over the globe. I bring greetings from a grateful heart. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your time zone. Thank you so dearly for always supporting this platform. I really do appreciate it. In case you are hearing our voice for the first time, or you are coming across us for the first time, we still remain your one and only progress news, giving it to you back to back. Remember, in this platform, we react to our videos, and your opinion is highly needed. So sit back, watch this video, and... Fari Loyet here to talk to us on the situation so far. So talk to me, sir. What is the situation over here? Well, uh, so far about 23 people have been rescued alive and about uh, five so far uh, recovered dead. Uh, deceased? No, deceased have been recovered dead. That's the story. So, so what really happened here? How many story building is this? And what really happened? What well, time did it happen yesterday? It was a three-story building and a distress alert. Based on the distress alert and first information, it happened around 9.30 p.m. And since then, all stakeholders moved in to carry out uh, search and rescue. Uh, kudos must be given to the community members. Before the statutory agencies arrived there, the, guy, the boys around there, they really, really helped. They were the ones that rescued most of the people who were rescued alive before the arrival. We met them and we incorporated them into the search and rescue process. Um, so how many people are in the hospital so far this morning? Well, uh, so many of them, were, all of them were taken to hospital. Some of them were immediately treated and discharged. They came back. But later we evacuated them to accommodate to better accommodation for them to relax. So we don't I don't know how many people are still left at the hospital now. Okay, I understand that another building has been sealed. What really happened to the second building? Well, the second building is also a three-story building and uh, it was informed that the building was sealed earlier, but the occupants were deviant. This morning we noticed the building was throwing pebbles and falling off, and the Lagos State Building Control Agency sealed it up and evacuated the people who are here. Right, thank you very much, sir. I'll come back to you later today for more updates. So this is the situation right here at Ebutemeta, Lagos, where this story, three-story building collapsed at about night. Um, the incident happened in the night and uh, at least 23 people don't they rescued alive. About 23 people don't they rescued alive and uh, so far so good. Um, emergency just is still the work. Ma, um, you tell me your name and who you are, your office and what you've been doing so far since last night. My name is Makile Bichizura Ola. I work with Lagos State Ambulance Services. I'm acting director of Lasambos. We've been here uh, past 10 years tonight and we we're able to rescue uh, like uh, 16 victims. We treated three and discharged and taking them to various hospitals in Lagos State. Okay, so are there people that are dead? Yeah. Like how many? For now, I think we have four. Four. Yeah. Okay, so how far with your workers? Are they strong enough to work this morning? How are they doing? Very strong. We are here all through the night, searching and rescuing victims from the robbers. Thank you so much. Okay, that is the director for Lassam Boss, the ambulance people, where they help do rescue whenever an uh, incident like this happen. And they tell me, say, they don't be here since yesterday night. They do rescue. You can see last time people day here. Um, even fire service day here too. And the people wait around and them help do the whole clearance work since yesterday night.
A lot of people are still gathered here trying to find their their own people come out alive. I heard that so many has been rescued alive and uh, so many, uh, about five so far has been rescued dead. And many of the people where they live for the three-story building because the three-story building we've been there here for years. So nobody saying a new one. I think they have seen someone else. They're about to rescue someone else. You can see Red Cross running around around there. While the excavator is on excavating the rubbles, the emergency teams also dig ground. They try to bring out anybody where they fit to rescue. Like I told you earlier, at least 22 people don't get rescued alive, while about four people to five people don't die for the incident. Many of these people they here, according to Lasema. Now them help do the whole rescue and many of them sleep outside all through the night till this morning. I hear that man's family is still involved and uh, his, the family is still inside the robots and he's in crime since I arrived this location. Likewise, so many other families I've seen crying or trying to like show emotions because of what they happen. We no fit much enter into the robots even though people they allowed to come help do the rescue. We no fit enter into the robots so they did but we we'll go day here to the give one an update as it they happen live and direct. See more of this but they go in to see if they fit help as the excavator they excavate things from inside that place then also they try to find if they get humans wasted day inside that place i'll move around a little bit The issue of building collapse in Lagos, no be new thing on to say it do they happen. And the emergency things they always they grant to respond. Like you can see this another emergency vehicle. And the one over there. And another one by my side. At least for the past three years we I think they cover major events for Lagos. So many, many, many building collapse incidents don't happen for Lagos where I don't cover the biggest being the one where happened for somewhere in Ikoi a couple of months ago where killed plenty people they made government seal off the building that one a very high rise building where fall a couple of months ago and before this one could happen today as it be National Emergency Management Agency the inform me say Las Beca will be Lagos State Building Collapse Agency Building uh, Management Agency don't go seal off another building by the side of this one will be about three story building to where they notice say he get signs say if they fall off they release some debris that one too they don't go seal them off why rescue is still going on <laughs> in this one. We see the bring on a live update right from Lagos where another building collapse happened yesterday night, Sunday evening. And so far so good as I've been done telling her before. The National Emergency Management Agency, where they manage the situation here, don't tell us they, they don't rescue at least 23 people alive, and they don't also rescue at least about five people where they don't die, they, they don't rescue. So, the way they fly around here, now they say 
at least they don't bring that and that tree, but we'll never see with our eyes and we'll never confirm from NEMA. But people still gather everywhere. You can see emergency trucks still there around the whole location, still trying to get um, to rescue more people. And in front of me, a lot of people still gather so many of them that want to see what's next. Many of them are relations, are relatives of uh, the families uh, where they involved for this particular situation. The building, according to Neman, a three-story building before it collapsed, three-story building before it collapsed, and uh, a residential building. Maybe see people, they live inside, maybe see they just construct them. If you check our website, bbc.com slash pigeon or our Instagram, Facebook and, and Twitter, you can see some of the pictures we don't take from this location for the situation where they happen for here. So far, all emergency teams where the ground since yesterday still there around. I can see men from La Sema, men from Neyman, men from Lagos State Building Control Agency, Las Beca. Um, they see police, the Lagos Neighborhood Watch and... Uh, Red Cross and all the fire service teams with the ground to ensure say things work away here and say nothing go wrong. The excavators still the ground, they try to excavate the ground to see if they can find other people on the ground. You can see the excavator over there still doing the work. Two excavators actually the ground, both from La Sema, and according to Nema, this excavator's day ground since yesterday night, since 9, 10, 11 in the night yesterday when the situation happened and they still did, they still try to rescue people. Many families still they hang out, they talk still there, people still they on the ground, while uh, some people don't carry their own people go hospital and some still they expect for miracle to happen. You can what is really going on? Look at the way People lost their life every minute, every second in that country. One problem or the other. It is time they look into a lot of cases. Though the politicians, they don't care. The government don't care. It's just that the country called Nigeria is the survivor of the fittest. That is what is going on right now because the government don't care about anything that is happening. This again happened in Lagos. You can see it's a living house. It's a house that people are living. A complete building just collapsed just like that. And there are people, family, children inside. What do you think? What is really going on? So my colorlistic people, this is the end of this update. It's very sad indeed. And we pray that rest in peace to as many that lost their life. And God should give the family the grace, the strength to bear the loss. So, my colleagues, people, thank you once again for always tuning in. I really do appreciate. See you when I see you. For me, to you, remain blessed.